Okay, we're gonna chop some celery really fine. Here's the celery. I've taken one slice, took off the icky end, left the big end to hold on, help make it sturdy for me. Holding my knife strongly, placing the tip about a quarter of an inch from where I started, and slowly dragging it straight down the length of the stalk of celery. I'm just going to repeat this as many times as I can, getting as small a strain as possible because I want this to be a small vise or green wall as we say. So that's what we've got, a little celery brush. Our little celery man. Yay, celery man. Go, celery man. So now we're going to chop to go in our chopped salad. Um, it's chopped, so it's a kitchen sink salad. Salad can be on the step, it can be composed. Chop salad can be anything in the world. The main point of chop salad is that it's chopped. Um, and it needs to be chopped in pieces that are easily edible. Key point. So, I'm going to do another piece of celery. Here we go. Here's the long piece of celery. I'm going to place my knife up here and take about a quarter of an inch down, repeating for my whole stuff of celery. Isn't this so much easier than any way you've ever cut celery before? I'm sure it is. Or maybe you have a fantastic technique I don't know about and need to, in which case you should leave me a comment. Or, don't say anything nasty though. This is a really icky piece of celery. Can you see this? Do you see how it's splitting like this? This means it's really mealy. Who wants to eat mealy celery? Pick. Let's just get rid of that. Now let's look at it. That looks much better. Less celery, better flavor. Always good for quality. Okay. So we're chopping our celery very fine. And we'll just have to repeat what's going on in our chopped salad life. Celery. Oops, there we go. Celery, snow peas, mosh or lamb's ear lettuce, and romaine, and then some tomatoes. So that's how, sorry, that's a quick technique on how to cut celery. Talk, kids. Join me later. Hot plate. And Rochelle, thanks for coming to my kitchen talk.